NTD CNC have travelled to Birmingham today to the home of AM Hydraulics to look at this absolutely fantastic vertical lathe with milling capability, the, the Shibora TUE 200 and I'm joined by Chris. Now it's safe to say that you make a lot of work that others don't want to. We tend to get parts through the door that uh, others have turned their backs on, yes you could say that. And could you mention some of the components and the applications that you actually make here? Well, you know, we make components for all ranges of industry. You know, you can go right from the sort of lower ends of the scale where you may be doing things for yellow good lines on the process industry type right up to the aviation, aeronautical, uh, space divisions, etc. Materials vary. Again, you can name any material under the sun and you can guarantee that it's been through these doors or is in process at the moment through these doors on site now. Now I visited this site approximately two years ago and, and, you, and you've added to the capabilities that you've got here. You've got, for people that don't know AM Hydraulics, you've got numerous uh, machine tools, large vertical lathes. Why specifically um, did you choose the, the Shibora machine? A culmination of a lot of, a lot of factors actually. Um, I started off on a project up to three years ago now and the project is still ongoing. There are functions of this machine that we haven't got capabilities of. We, we sat down and did a gap analysis and we worked out that there were certain pieces of machinery on the market now that uh, provided functions, uh, one-shot uh, operations, etc. And we, we just didn't have that capability. And we knew the sort of markets that were out there and what we were targeting and this machine fits the bill for all. what we have now is a very 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 large project for the next three years going forward for this machine and three others on site. Right we're going to go into the capabilities shortly but how instrumental were Leader CNC Technologies and Webster Bennett when choosing this machine tool? We've had a long relationship with Webster Bennett here at AM Hydraulics um, we've got a lot of confidence in them uh, they introduced us to LEADER and to this machine. Uh, we were looking for something and we used the experience and expertise of Webster Bennett and LEADER together to source this machine and get the, get the thing across here from over the other side of the world, which took some doing, given the situation that's going on at the moment in the, in the world. And uh, it basically all came together and it's been sat there now for about uh, four weeks now since installation. We were looking for machinery that could do a component in one shot, if you like, um, minimising setups on other machines, so we could put the put them put the components on and do everything that's required on the components. So with this machine, we've now got the C-axis indexing of the table, which is all CNC. We've got a large elevating rail, so the whole thing will go up in the air, so we can get get long, tall machine uh, machine parts on here. We've got the live tooling on the spindle, so now we can actually do drilling, thread milling, etc., and put milling attachments onto the ram, onto the spindle. It's all capabilities that would have involved two, three, or four different setups on different machines. It saves operations, it's more efficient, it gives us a, a vast amount of scope and capacity that we didn't have. It opens up new markets as well. So, for some of the components that you're manufacturing here, how accurate does this machine need to be and how accurate are you finding it? Basically it's, it's as accurate as any other machine, if not more accurate than any other turning machine that we've got on site. Uh, we can hold tight tolerances, the sorts of tolerances that are demanded by the industry that we put it in for. It was all orientated around being able to produce the components that are designed, the complex components that are designed these days. And the accuracy is basically goes without saying. We can get to 0 0.02 uh, accuracy of a millimeter, and we can index within seconds of a, of a, of a degree. It's absolutely solid. Uh, it's a single column. Uh, it's, so it's solid. It can absorb the vibrations and shocks of intermittent cutting. Uh, it's it's bombproof really. At the end of the day. What I've noticed with this machine, and if you look around the side of the machine, you've got the, the ATC automatic tool changer as well. How important, again, is this feature? Well, again, you, know, you can do 
we can get the tooling in there, we don't have to man manually intervene. Once we get a cycle running, the tools are set up, it's all programmed, we can nearly push the button and walk away from it and leave it to cycle on itself. So after you know four weeks, has the machine already you know proving to be a success? We've got uh, the actual full-blown training, CNC programming training course uh, in a week's time, so we're not using it anywhere near its capabilities or capacities. Uh, we're doing some conventional work at the moment, albeit complex, but it is conventional at the moment until the guys are up to speed on using it as they should be able to use it. So far it's produced some very intricate and uh, precise components. Uh, we've had I think this is about the fourth, third or fourth component we've had on the table. Everything that's come off so far has been within tolerance and, and, and accurate, no problem. Chris, it's been an absolute pleasure, thank you very much. No problem, Gio, thanks for coming.